Hello, today I'm going to show you how I made this background on this masculine card made with Stampin' Up's Plain and Simple stamp set. Okay, to start with, I took a piece of three and three quarters by five inches of very vanilla. And then starting at three quarters of an inch, I took right there, I'm just going to lay this down. And at three quarters of an inch, I took my bone folder. This is the way I prefer to score and made a score line. And then I'll do it every inch after that. So going up to two and three quarters, and then three and three quarters. So now I have my score lines just down my paper. And just to make those score lines a bit um, more noticeable, I'm going to take and fold them up. And this side that I'm folding is actually going to be the back side, or the front side, sorry, the front side. Okay, so now I have my little score marks. Now I'm going to take a sponge and hit the, just lightly hit the front of it with the early espresso, trying to highlight those fold lines. Okay. Okay, and then after I do that, I'm going to ink up this image with the line and the diamond pattern, my early espresso ink, and then we'll line this up right over one of those fold lines. And I'm just going to eye it, there we go, because I have the clear die and I'm hoping that will work. There we go. Perfect. I like that. Okay, so then I will mount this to the back to my early espresso cardstock mat. Down. There we go. And then just to add a little more to the background up here, I'm going to take the color spritzer tool with the early espresso marker. All you have to do is loosen this up, slide this into the barrel, making sure that the brush tip is over the end. You want to make sure that the nozzle is straight up and down, put it firmly in your hand, and give it some firm squeezes. And the closer you are, the more concentrated your spatter will be. The further back you are, the less concentrated it will be. Okay, so now I can take my background piece and I can just put some adhesive right here and mount that down to my crumb cake card base. And I can set that aside for a moment. Now I have a three quarters by four inch piece of very vanilla and I want to just put this diamond pattern on here and so I'm going to line up the diamond pattern with my piece of card stuff. There we go. And then I can mount this diamond pattern piece onto another piece of early espresso cardstock mat. Put that down. One more adhesive. And I want to line this up right along the top of that line. There. Now I have the card base and the background all done. So I'll set that aside while I work on my focal piece. And with the focal piece, I use the airplane image. So I'll ink that up. And stamp that off onto this piece of very vanilla. After I stamp that, I am going to take the two and a half inch circle punch, line up the airplane. Nope, I'm going to go from this direction because I stamped a little bit closer to this end. There we go. Punch that out. And then to highlight the eds, edges, I'm going to take and just hit them with a little bit of ink. Then the, one of the things that we have right now is a petal cone die with the Big Shot. And when you use the petal cone die, it punches or it cuts out this banner shape. And I love using this banner shape because it's harder than you'd think to get these little ends even. But I didn't need it this long, so I cut it off and I made it this length. And then I stamp the thank you from the stamp set and just down and up. Again, hitting the edges just to make them stand out a bit more. 
Then I can take my paper piercer and kind of give it a little bit of a curl so that it'll have a little more dimension. And I think I'll put my airplane kind of like this and then just pierce a hole. And then I'm going to take one of the brads from the neutrals collection. There we go. I'll take one of the brads from the neutrals collection and set that right through the two pieces. And because I didn't glue it, I can kind of adjust where I want it to go when I put it on there. Okay, take my card base back. Let's grab a couple of dimensionals so that it will be raised above and not look like it's pressed down over my card base. And I think we'll set that like about like that. And I got my little flag and I have a fun masculine card. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you have any questions be sure to email me at chris, C-H-R-I-S, at mystamplady.com. Thank you.